Okay, so I'm making a quick, uh, brief video, uh, kind of a tutorial to go through applying mic tape. Um, there always seems to be a little bit of confusion on the best way to get it applied, and for our intents and purposes, this is going to be the best practical way to apply it. Um, when you take uh, when you take into consideration a lot of the factors, uh, sweat, hair, oil, um, it's pretty simple to get things cleaned up. Uh, it's just using some common sense and some good hygiene ahead of time can really help that. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is shave. Um, if you are a guy with facial hair, you want to shave this and get it really smooth and brought down. Um, <clears throat> if you have a beer that's really high, up close to the cheekbone, it might be worth talking to the director during the show to see if you can bring it down, get that nice and clean and shaved. Uh, ladies, that might not be a problem for you. Um, most people do have fine hair on their face. If it's really fine and really light, that's one thing. Um, so uh, it should be a problem for most ladies. But guys, fellas, you definitely want to clean this. Uh, once you get that done, once you get that shaved down, uh, you probably want to take some time to do it right here on the neck too just behind the ear, and so my hairline is a lot higher now because I've had my hair recently cut, uh, but for those of you who have not had it done, uh, and ladies especially here, uh, because you tend to wear your hair down, a lot of ladies don't uh, shave back any hair on the neck to the hairline um, to have a nice defined hairline. Uh, so ladies especially want to do this. Fellas, uh, if you haven't had a haircut recently and you're starting to get a lot of these scraggles, uh, this scraggly hair in there, uh, go ahead and take care of that. Buzz it down, and then if you've got a straight razor, shave it down too. Most most people sh should have straight razors at this point. So uh, go ahead and shave that down. That's going to be really important, especially for ladies. A lot of people tend to think, oh, I'll just put the mic tape on in the hair and it'll latch onto the hair because um, it's always uncomfortable pulling it out. Uh, but that really doesn't actually help. In fact, it usually makes it easier for the mic tape to come off uh, during the course of the show because uh, not only is sweat going to accumulate into the hair, uh, but then your hair also has natural oils in it. Unless you strip all the oils out of your hair, which I doubt anybody does, um, it's going to be harder for the mic tape to actually stay adhered to that. Then you've got the additional problem of if you're using hair product with your natural hair in a show um, to style it, it's just not going to stick. So go ahead and just get that all clean shaved down. Um, that's the shaving. Uh, then there's a preparation on the skin for that. Um, a lot of people, and I've run into more ladies that, that have this concern than men, uh, but the oil or the um, softness of the skin tends to be an issue. Uh, what you're about to do is going to dry out the skin so it's preferable when you're done with the show uh, and you remove your makeup and whatnot to clean your face and then if you want to put on lotion or something that's fine. Don't do it beforehand. So uh, I don't have any with me at the moment but uh, little alcohol prep pads. You can get them in a large box at CVS Walgreens. Um, I usually have a couple in my makeup kit. It's good to just keep them in there. They're great for nausea additionally. Just getting a whiff of rubbing alcohol helps. Just isopropyl alcohol prep pads and they're they're pretty small um, they're usually about an inch uh, long by an inch wide or two you don't need the huge four inch ones uh, and what those are going to do is you're going to wipe down the area that you're going to put the mic tape behind the neck behind the ear and uh, on the face uh, and then let it completely dry and what that's going to do is that's going to pull a lot of the oil and stuff out um, be careful also I should say when you shave don't put on any after shave or after lotion for shaving the area. Um, that's going to leave uh, residue that's not going to allow the mic tape to adhere properly. So anyway, once you use that prep pad and wipe that down, that's going to get that nice and clean and it's going to pull all the oil out, it's going to pull all the moisture out, and it's going to make the skin drier. Just like if you're using hand sanitizer. Okay, it's going to dry out the skin. But that's good, we want that. We want a nice, dry, uh, adherable surface for the tape. So once you've gotten that wiped down and clean, uh, you're going to get some new skin and it comes in a little bottle. Uh, new skin is just liquid bandage. Uh, I think that that brand is the best personally. I found that it works better than some of the cheap or name or generic brand stuff. So new skin. Um, and there's a ton in the bottle. Like you're not going to run out for a long time. Uh, so then you're going to take new skin and the area that you're going to tape the mic, you're going to apply some new skin. Not necessarily generously, just in the area that you're going to tape. So if I was putting the tape on, uh, I'll use this pencil for a moment. Uh, if I was placing the mic here, I would probably put some new skin right here and right below that. Um, again, this is where the hairline for guys comes in important. If you're putting the mic here, you're not going to want to tape it into the hair because it's not going to stick. Okay, Even with the help of new skin. So you might want to raise it up just a little bit so you have some skins to make contact with the tape or trim the beard down a little bit more. 
Uh, so anyway, I'm going to put a little bit of new skin above and below where I'm going to put the tape. And you want to put the tape kind of in the middle of the cheek. You don't want to put it way down here where it might cover up the tip of the mic. And you don't want to put it way up here where it's going to come in contact with the hair or the sweat and oils of the hair more frequently. So right in the middle is going to be good. New skin is going to get tacky, okay? It's going to get sticky like spirit gum. Don't use spirit gum. That's a huge mess that we don't want to deal with and it's much harder to actually get off. So use new skin. It's going to get tacky, then it's going to dry. It takes a few minutes. It's not the fastest setting stuff, but it's pretty quick. Um, so it's going to take probably two minutes or so to really get dry. Once the new skin is dry, go ahead and get your mic on and put your mic tape over. I don't have any with me again, uh, the mic tape, but you want to get the 3M brand mic tape. Okay, it's medical tape. Uh, it's 3M brand medical tape. When you go to CVS and Walgreens, I believe if, even if you get their, their generic stuff, when you look inside the center of the spool of tape, you're going to see 3M printed on it. At least I believe at Walgreens, theirs is. Theirs is 3M brand. Uh, it just, they repackage it. So anyway, uh, but 3M, don't use any other medical tape because it's garbage. 3M is what you want. You're going to put that over where the new skin is, okay? That's going to stick pretty darn well, okay? Uh, the great advantage of new skin, so you understand, is that it's going to seal up some of the pores, okay? It's going to cover them up uh, like a bandage would, and you're not going to sweat through it nearly as easily. It happens, but not as bad as if you just had it in contact with your skin if you sweat a lot. So go ahead and use the new skin on that. Uh, you can put some on the behind the ear if you want, if you're really having trouble here. This is where a lot of people, the sweat from the hairline tends to come down here the most. So if you're having the most difficulty there, go ahead and put some new skin back there as well. And then of course you're gonna put one on the center back of the neck. Um, it's hard because I've got the high, a higher collar on right now, uh, but the back hairline, get that trimmed up too. So ladies, pull the hair up and go ahead and shave that spot where you're gonna tape that. Nobody's going to notice unless you have short hair and then you probably just want to get it trimmed and look tidy anyway. So um, that should really help. Uh, once you've gotten that taped into place and you do the show, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, I know I've worked with somebody already that has been doing this. Um, I actually work with several people who have been using this process and it works really well for them. Uh, so go ahead and try that. Um, then removing it. Uh, when you go to take it off, you're going to pull the tape off as normal. It's not going to pull the new skin off. Probably not. Um, uh, the best way to get new skin off, and this is one of the reasons I love this product, you just put more new skin on over it. Rub some new skin on over the dry stuff, it's going to re-moisten it, and it's going to allow you to then wipe it off. Um, you can also use makeup wipes to help get some of the excess residue off, and then anything that's left, it will work just like when you get sunburn and you're peeling, it'll just be able to peel right off. Uh, so it shouldn't be that, that problematic. Uh, then go over at that point, because uh, your skin's gonna be super dried out in those spots and a little irritated, go ahead and use lotion or whatever, and that's fine. Uh, makeup can also go over really well over new skin, and um, it can also go over your mic tape pretty well too, so don't hesitate to put makeup over those things to help uh, cover it off, because sometimes mic tape will hit, get a glare from the lights. Um, in the prep prep stage with the alcohol wipe, I just think that they work best. Plus, they have they have good multiple purposes, and it's nice to have some in a in a, in a makeup kit. But you can also use wet ones or makeup remover wipes. Um, I would be cautious. Sorry about the light. I'd be cautious about makeup wipes if they have any oil in them or anything that is supposed to help the skin as you're removing makeup. If if you use wipes that also help hydrate the skin, any of that stuff is going to have oil in it, and you don't want to use that. So you want something more stringent that can really pull oil out and I just think the alcohol wipes work the best. Plus they're really cheap and they come in a box of like 200 or more. Uh, that's basically it. If you do those steps, shave, alcohol, new skin, mic tape, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, if you do, just let me know. All right. Thanks guys.